I want to talk to you guys about the stimulus plan that's uh, percolating through. We've already had it come through the House. It uh, looks like the Senate may uh, vote on it uh, tonight, tomorrow, and then we'll be voting on it again next week. And I just wanted to get your opinion as to uh, what you think uh, we ought to be doing, whether we should be doing it, and if, uh, if it's the right way to go with your, in your view. Personally, I, I'm not in favor of it. Uh, I think we're looking at bailing out too many, too many folks. But the people I've been talking to are not in favor of it. Okay. Uh, or at least, uh, if, if you do something, I think it should be greatly reduced from what it is right now. We, we've been hearing too many things that put in there that uh, just like pork for some, mm -hmm. some of the senators and congressmen out there. Yeah. Curtis, what do you think? Well, I, I think that the you know, I'm not, I'm not, I wished I was smart enough to, to solve the problem, and I'm not, but it looks to me like they, that there are way too much spending bills that are going to just take too long to, to materialize, and, and they, it looks like they're going to uh, spend a lot of money on things that are really not needed right now. We, maybe we do need some stimulus right now. I, I'm not smart enough to know whether that's, that's what we need or not, but it, and the, the pork, like the judge said, is not just exactly what, what we need. Well, I think, it's, I think it's pretty clear that the American economy is hurting, and with it, uh, people are hurting. And so, uh, you know, standing by and not doing anything is uh, not the right answer. One of the things about being in the minority is that you, ought to, you should be responsible for putting up better ideas. You just can't say no all the time. You need to have an alternative. And, and what we did last week was voted on a plan that was focused on tax cuts for businesses and uh, individuals. And if you work through the multiplier numbers and the, you know, the math that goes along with that kind of thing, uh, using the president's own economic advisor's concepts, uh, our plan would produce uh, 6.2 million jobs in two years at half the impact on the deficit that this current plan is working. So, you know, we put that up, uh, tried to convince folks that's a better way to go about it. We uh, it failed the uh, vote of the House. Uh, but there are other ways to go. This 800 plus billion dollar uh, stimulus package is not the only answer. You know, there's no guarantees in uh, the, This type of stimulus has never worked. Uh, it didn't work in the Great Depression, and uh, it won't work this time either. I think most folks, when you talk to you, said if, uh, you know, if you're going to build long-lived assets, 50-year assets like bridges and roads and those kinds of things, then okay, let's, let's spend some money there. And then the tax cut portion, most folks agree with that piece. But the other spending to bail out states that have overspent their budgets, to, to buy Tamiflu tablets, to uh, you know, promote uh, STD education, all those kinds of things that may be in and of themselves good policy, uh, don't belong in the stimulus. Let's have those debates separate and apart from some sort of an emergency because the idea that uh, is driving much of the, uh, uh, the spending that's been included in what appears to be the bill that's going to come next week. So I uh, appreciate visiting with you guys and uh, look forward to hearing your thoughts again soon. Thank well, you. We appreciate you coming and talking to us. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.